Wow, so we're getting a Seraph origin, bro? He was just a nosy ass kid who just wanted to know about life and death. Younger brother. I like doing that. Okay. Man, I had this idea of Seraph. I thought he was like, you know, a lot, uh, not a lot younger than this. I, I just didn't, like, I thought, like, he was probably the creation of magic itself. Like, the embodiment uh, of darkness. Well, Mavis was the embodiment of light. And you have them collide with one another. I did not expect Seraph to be just an ordinary person. Well, I'm I'm sure he's not ordinary, or what he eventually becomes. But I mean, like he's just like everybody else. There's still much work to be done, but if we find a way to amass the 2.7 billion units of magic power needed, the revive system will become reality. This episode. Should have happened in Fairytale Zero. Forbidden Jutsu. Dude, bro, where is your nipple? Things I look for. Life. There exists an element of human choice in its creation, does there not? So then, why should death be fully exempt from that? Oh. Oh. I beseech you to have mercy on this boy's soul. I'm taking it very seriously. Don't don't cut me, cut me some slack. It's just I'm trying to amuse myself here. So I get it. It kind of has some religious undertones, you know. Do not pry uh, too much uh, on the details, um, especially details that scare people, you know. See how they're trying to, like, create this antagonist out of nowhere, you know? The guy could have direct directed with sympathy and be like, Look, I'm sorry, bro, but we, this can't be done. You know? Who, who really is the bad guy here? It's Seraph. But the show wants us to, you know, feel sorry for him. Yeah, see? You were warned. Time and time again, stop playing with that bad juju. And you didn't listen. And now people have to suffer. You just killed everyone. Holy shit. We even killed the fishes. I had indeed drawn the wrath of Oxelum. This curse is one of the country's 
So, okay. <gasps> I just <gasps> gasp. What? It's Natsu, his brother? It's not. But how does that explain with the dragons and? Cause he was. So you're like Mavis. You're a little boy! It doesn't work, it's not the same. You're a little girl, a little boy. Created life. Eventually, I created my magnum opus that could bring all this to an end. In fact, I called it E N D. Ethereus, not to drag me out. But this was not some object or tool to be used as a means to an end. He was human from the beginning, flesh and blood. I had cared for my beloved brother's body all those years. Waiting for this day. At last, my brothers returned as the ultimate and furious. My deepest desires have both been made flesh. What? Natsu, do you remember me? I am your older brother, Zara. Wow! Ethereus, not to drag me out. I'm sure you'd like to know how you were paired with Igneo, as well as my connection to Mavis. But those Who are you talking to? At the moment, there's a very important man that I need to meet with. Can I even call him a man? Um. Bro. Wait, is she gonna go Nickelodeon? Wait, wait, no way. It's rather surprising that you agreed to have this discussion. I can assume this is how you normally look. How's your arm healing up? Yo, well, no, his name's. Oh, I like his voice, it's so deep. I'm bad, bad. Yet you hardly indulge yourself. If you so desired, you could use your power to bring the entire world to its knees. But for some reason you haven't. Whether it's a matter of principle or ambition is unclear. The same could be said of you. To be quite honest, my indecision is what has kept me out of the fray. Should I side with humans and do battle with you? Will the opposite better suit my needs? Well, I've come to the conclusion that the question itself is flawed. After weighing my interests, I am on neither side. Both you and mankind should be wiped out. Wow. What do you think? You have been waiting for a serious challenge. Ooh, touche. Okay, sure. It's kind of weird that Nickelodeon ain't trying to fight Seraph. You know he gonna, he gonna die if he try to do some dumb thing. 
That would have been interesting, but Nickelodeon, no. He ain't ready. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Why? Why? I almost want to pause it right there for a second there. I, I got to talk about that moment right there. It, it's it's important. Very important. I'll save it for the end of the video. Yeah. Yeah, we need money. Tell us Touché, forget the monster. I am disbanding the fairy tale guild. Which means from this point on you must forge your own way. For a guy that wants to retire and pass it forward to the next generation. You gotta realize that you're messing with This is very messed up. Yeah. Good question. Strange. Come on, Lindsay, we're just about there. Yeah, we're practically at the old guild hall. I know. But honestly, I'm kind of too scared to get any closer. Made it this far. <laughs> it's scary. Come on. It's what's inside us that counts. You sure? I already see it. They're stalling. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna walk around the corner. They're gonna go where Fairy Tale Guild normally is, and everyone's gonna be there. Yay! Party! Pizza! Pepperoni! Shut up, Lucy. Just go fuck over there. Damn! Look! Look! There's that girl. Look, she's drunk. Where the hell's your dad? Where's Gil Darts? I 
Really? What are the odds? I imagine everyone else feels the same. The Guild family. I've been a member ever since I was a little kid. So when Makarov decided to break it up all of a sudden, I, I still don't watch. understand how they didn't just move Fairtail without Makarov. Because they kind of did before, you know, when they were trapped for five years, they still moved forward without him, but because he dis- It doesn't make sense! Don't make any sense! By everyone she needs everyone You're telling me after one year no one died. Looking good, Lucy. You he's still fat. It's so awesome to see you guys. When I got your letter, it made me really happy. Well look the kid ex I see the only one that looks different. Wow, the phone. He read your Sorcerer Weekly article. <laughs> and so did I. Uh, Why are you mentioning these characters? I don't it's remember th none of their names. Oh, Mac, They're like background characters as you come. You could have built a lot of these characters. And that's so unfortunate. That some of them are so interesting and they never got anything, whatever. Jane. I don't know. It's not that. It's not that sappy. I don't know. Fairy Toad does a lot of these sappy. Oh, dude, he's so sad. But it really isn't. Maybe this is not meant to be sad, but more like, yay, you know, happy sad, but I guess I'm not that emotionally invested. Or, I am, I am, maybe that's the wrong wording. I am emotionally invested, because I keep watching, but it's just, I, whatever. It's hard, it's hard to stop. It's, huh? Yo, that can't be right! That's actually the episode! That is one of the fastest fairy tale episodes I've ever seen. Literally, we got a little short Seraph explanation origin, and boom, Lucy's in town, and she meets up with fairy tale, and the episode's over. Like, literally, nothing happened besides those two things. Three, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Wow. Wow. <laughs> um. I'm going to throw another wow. Holy crap. Anyway, uh, cool, uh, segue or whatever of having Seraf, um, I don't know, monologue or explain his sort of origin. I wish they would have give us a, a cheer, a cheer. I can't even speak English. I wish they would have explained exactly where in the timeline that Seraf creates Natsu or his brother, whatever. Please explain to me why Natsu has... Was it pink hair? Was it red hair? Pink hair, right? <laughs> how come How come they don't really look alike? I mean, maybe is it because Seraph puts so much of the ethereum, whatever ethereal, in Natsu, that that's why Natsu looks a little different. Um, also, 
uh, Saraf explaining thing was still left pretty ambiguous because he even discussed, like, out of all dragons, why was Igneel chosen, you know? Even that in itself, uh, I feel like the show did explain it, but I don't remember exactly um, how much of it was explained as far as when Natsu and Igneel were, were met, I guess. I remember the show ex showing us that moment, but it wasn't that detailed, but it, it would be nice to see Seraph, like, I don't know, dropping Natsu to Igneel or something. I don't know. Now, I always had this perception of Seraph. I always thought that he was the embodiment of darkness. Like, like let's say, like, like the, describe, uh, the description of God or the universe or whatever. Like, in a sense of, hey, you know, there was just darkness, there was no life, there was no existence, and one day he just woke up. And I felt like that's what Seraph was. He was the embodiment of darkness, of death, of, of this weird power that he has no control of, and he's just it, you know. And I, I don't know, I always had this idea of that, of him, and then have Mavis be kind of like the opposite of that. And, and, and she's that embodiment of love and friendship and, and life, you know. So you have that yin-yang of both of them. And I thought we were going to lead towards that. And I thought Fairytale Zero was going to explain that, but it never really did. Here I thought that, oh man, Fairytale Zero, you know, Mavis is probably going to be in Tendro Island. She's going to find Seraph. Maybe Seraph helps her with, you know, learn magic or learn something, do something, you know. Uh, and it collide with that light and darkness power stuff. But we never really got that. We got a little bit of, a, of it, in a way, where Seraph did eventually help Mavis learn a little bit of magic, you know? But I feel like it takes away, uh, it takes a lot, the mystique is taken away from, from Seraph, where he's just this bookworm, and he's just this nerdy kid who's like, oh my god, look at all the stuff I can learn, you know? That's not even badass at all, you know? So you're telling me he read some shit? So, okay, I know they explain who Seraph was studying, like the magic he was studying, but I guess throughout the generations, uh, whoever Seraph took the power from, instead of talking about that person, it became more of, hey, now this is Seraph's magic, and this is Seraph's monsters, and... And this is the bad juju, it's Seraph, 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 when in reality, it was someone else, you know, Seraph was studying someone else's architect and whatever, you know. So I wonder if the show could do that. That would be pretty cool if, let's say, the next guild, the next evil dark guild, knows that, that knows that, hey, Seraph is just a pushover, he ain't shit. There's a guy better than him. You know, Seraph learned from someone else's books, uh, magic and whatnot, because that's exactly what we saw. So the show has to go in that direction. And I, I kind of see it. The show is trying to redeem Seraph, where it's like, he's not really a bad guy. He was just consumed uh, with trying to help the world, but he got consuming AIDS or whatever the term is. You know, he, he, got, um, he got etched out. Wanted too much power. All right, one other, one other thing I wanted to discuss was that, that sucks for Gajil and Levy. There, you know, they're doing good as far as the Magic Council goes, and now our heroes are forcing them to leave the Magic Council, and not only that, but lie for them. Like when Gray's like, "Hey, Gajil, don't tell the Magic Council what I've been up to." That's fucked up. It's like being a cop. Let's say I'm a cop, and one of my friends is like. I don't know, stealing, selling drugs, doing something awful. And he's like, yo, yo, don't tell anyone. It's like, come on, bro. You're, you're, you're sacrificing my integrity for you. I didn't work this hard for you. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I find that offensive because I feel like no friend, uh, I mean, a real friend would never tell you to question your ideals. Booyah, mic drop. You know, you know, I'm, yo, you agree with me, thumbs up, like the video. <laughs> so, alright, what happens next? 
You know, the gang is here, Fairytale is here, uh, fuck off, uh, Makarov. Actually, uh, it's ironic, right? Everybody's here uh, except for Makarov, Makarov and uh, the Thunder Legion, you know. So where are they? Uh, how come they're not here? I don't think they're here because we didn't see them, but I could be wrong. It's so weird to you know, hear them say that Fairtale uh, Fair was disbanded. <sighs> and and when they were gone for like five years, they still continued on, but because Macroft's like no more fairy tale, they're like okay. But when they were missing, they're like fairy tale goes forever. I don't know. It makes no sense. Whatever. <laughs> Sorry. That about wraps up my video. Thanks so much for watching, and God bless you. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.